What is up and what is good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm SoCal Shaolin. I'm in Kokomo, Indiana. About to do some toy hunting at Kokomo Toys right there behind me. It's an amazing toy store. I've uh, been here plenty of times. Every time I come to Indiana to visit uh, friends, I got to hit up Kokomo Toys. Uh, so we're going to see lots of vintage toys and hopefully we go home with something cool. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button to keep up with future videos. Also, give me a follow on, on Instagram. That's all, Cal Shallon. So let's get this uh, toy hunt started, man. Pokemon Toys, awesome. You guys are gonna love it. Glad to be back at Kokomo Toys. This is an awesome toy store. I love the building that it's in. It's very old and it's a cool part of town here in Kokomo, Indiana. Awesome. So let's get into some of these toys. Here in the window, we start off, they use every bit of space they have in here. As you can see, this is the window display. They got just tons of toys everywhere. There right, was a C3PO. Star Wars vintage case, carrying case, and of course the flag right here being used as a shelf for all these cool toys on top, all these Star Wars toys and other various things. There's a Sky Striker from G.I. Joe, the vintage one. The Haslam one did recently get funded. And there's a cloud car right there. And then a quick shot, the whole right side, half of that is all pop figures. Here we have a pile full of cloud cars from Star Wars. Some various play sets from Star Wars as well. There goes a Hoth play set. Nadat. Like two Ewok villages stacked up on top of each other. Pretty amazing. There's a cool Fisher Price castle. I've been, you know, tempted to pick up some of those vintage Fisher Price uh, play sets. Man, those things are so cool. So cool. We'll see in the future. But here we have some G.I. Joes. Awesome. Always love checking out the G.I. Joes because when I was a kid, I did have a whole bunch of them. But as a grown up, uh, I think the only ones I have in my collection are the Street Fighter G.I. Joes, which I love. I was a huge Street Fighter fan. And I do have Scorpion and Sub Zero for more combat, but you can see there, Goro goes for 75. So some of those can be pretty pricey. Uh, here we have some Amigos, we got Spider-Man, there's a Superman, Robin, a couple Marvel Legends, some more Amigos there, some Batman Amigos, Superpowers, Superpowers line as well as some Secret Wars. So this is like their comic book section right here. They got some DC and Marvel stuff thrown in. There's a cool Sentinel from Toy Biz. Toy Biz is uh, just one of those great lines, man, from the 90s underrated I believe and that they made so many figures we got some carded superpowers figures and then above this case is a whole bunch of retro Ninja Turtles six packs those are, those are cool to see vintage uh, turtle van there here we have the skiff Ooh, $700 very very pricey but very very rare piece from the end of the Star Wars line the Cantina playset uh, just another one I want to add to my collection got the sand crawler cardboard playset Dagobah love that playset it's awesome just some random uh, vintage figures here we got from the last 17 was Jedi Luke it's all a uh, monoma in there Rancor so lots of vintage Star Wars. They got a huge selection. And here we have that awesome display of the, those first 12 figures. 1250 is the price tag on that. I should have pulled the trigger on that years ago. I remember you could get that for about $100, the display stand. But just like every other toy line, things just keep going up and up. And you can see here, they got tons and tons of vintage Star Wars. So. Kokomo Toys is definitely a place you want to hit up if you want to start collecting or filling gaps in your vintage Star Wars collection. And I believe they do sell 
on eBay as well and online if you want to get a hold of them but as you can see here they got tons of each figure but they don't have just one they got multiples of every one we got some more uh, figures here these are like Japanese style robots always cool to see those some Pee Wee's Playhouse figures, real Ghostbusters. Uh, their selection wasn't that big this time around, but I did manage to find a few things from there to take home with me, which you'll see at the end of the video. And another thing that Kokomo Toys has is they have a big selection of vintage books, like nerdy books. You can see here lots of sci fi magazines. Star Log, of course, is one of the big ones, a lot of fantasy ones, and a lot of children's book as well. Children's books from the like the 80s. Star Trek card Star Trek figures were on sale for five dollars each. Ah, uh, I'm not it that huge in Star Trek, but for five bucks, I, I should have at least picked up the main characters like Spock and Kirk, maybe even Picard, but uh, next time, next time. One, that's not another thing I need is to start getting into a new toy line. Uh, so here we have these Warrior Beast retro figures. These are so cool, but they're pretty pricey, forty dollars. But you know, one of those boutique toy lines, you know, made to look like the old school ones. Very cool sculpts. So now one of my favorite sections is the Ninja Turtle sections. You can see here lots of carded figures in the back as well as a whole bunch in the baggies. There's a Wolfman Leo. So I did spend some time here in this case going through some of these things. Because you know you call the employees over and then you go through the baggies. So I definitely picked up a few from here which you'll see it again at the end of the video. A huge selection of Ninja Turtles. Here's a wrestling section. You got some LJN, some Hasbro's. Nothing I needed for my collection, but it was cool to browse around and see what else was there. Here's some of the more modern ones. And Power of the Fours. These things are so awesome. Uh, That's what got me into collecting in the 90s. Back into collecting then. Yeah, I'm very tempted to start picking these up again. Especially why they're so cheap. You can see the, the selection is huge. It almost reminds me of the Toy Biz Marvel figures. They just made so many figures. And here on top is just amazing array of play sets. You got Techno Drone. You got some G.I. Joe headquarters we passed up. There's an ad at. Just incredible. The amount. Of play sets this store has another Millennium Falcon, a sewer play set, Transformers, huge ones, huge G.I. Joe vehicles there, and of course, Castle Gray Skull, a few of them there. And another thing that's so cool about Kokomo Toys, they got oh, so many loose figures. Look at that on both sides, it's all, these are all loose figures. It's, various toy lines whatever you can think of they're here man you'll definitely spend some time going through all the bags i know i did like this video is just a small sampling of the amount of time i was there at the store but very cool so many to choose from here we got you can see there, there's a mix of there's some halo stuff there's some star wars stuff last action hero saw a glimpse of those and then pop figures uh, a lot of people that come shop here do collect pop figures you can see there there's a, quite a group of people looking at pops and then they have really rare ones in the display case uh, here's masters of the universe some very rare dinosaur ones on the very top and uh and I just I can't believe how crazy these have gone up in price. You see there they're asking a hundred dollars for a He-Man. But 
thing about He-Man, there's so many of them, you could always find them. So they're not really rare, but they're just so sought after, which is why the prices are so high now. Part part of that has to do with the uh, Origins line that is out in stores right now. A lot of people are getting very nostalgic trying to get the originals. But here we have some of the classics, some of two classics from Maddie Collector days. And Thundercats, one of my favorite toy lines. The Thundercats. Muscle Men and some Battle Bees. I love those little figures. Mask. Mask is a toy line. Oh, I so badly want to get into, man. Some of those vehicles are so awesome. Sectars. Oh, it's cool to see Sectars. I sold off my collection of Sectars earlier in the year. I'm not sure if I regret it yet, but maybe I should have held on to them a little bit longer. And for your you Jurassic Park fans, here are some Jurassic Park figures. Not that many, but they also threw in some Captain Planet there as well. Here we got Dino Riders, a very, very cool toy line and expensive one as well. I know the big dinosaurs are pretty rare, hard to come by. Like I said, I like a lot of the 80 toy lines are represented here at this store. Rambo, Chuck Norris, Humanoids, Starcom, Dungeons and Dragons, that's also a cool line. But it's always uh, fun coming back to Kokomo Toys, checking out what they have. It's such an awesome store and they got so many cool things up here can go up there but it's always cool to check it out uh, just one of my favorite toy stores to visit when I'm out traveling all right guys I am out of Kokomo toys hope you enjoyed it I did my best to try to take footage uh, a lot of glare on those glass cases like always uh, but anyways I did come away with a bag full of goodies which I will show you when I get back home to California stay tuned Welcome back everyone. I am back home in the toy room about to show you my pickups. First, I want to say thank you guys for watching all the videos uh, on this Midwest toy hunting adventure. This Kokomo Toys visit was the last one of the Midwest series. So I hope you guys enjoyed them all. Um, please let me know down below which uh, store was your favorite. And remember I also did the Toy Hyo toy show. That place was freaking awesome. Uh, so for Kokomo Toys, I did pick up a bag here of some goodies, which I'm going to show you right here in a second. But first, uh, one of the, the first items I'm going to show you is not a toy. It's actually a book. I do like to collect uh, books, old books and stuff from the 80s and just anything nerdy, you know. Uh, so this one is Gremlins to Catch a Gremlin. Uh, very cool little children's book. Uh, when I first saw this, I thought it was going to be, you know, usually these books have stills of the movie uh, inside, but not this one. This one's actually drawn. So it's almost like, like a comic book. So here we have it. You can see here, it's actually drawn, which is pretty amazing. Like, look at, check out the artwork. Like I said, usually these books have just like stills of, of the movie. So this is pretty dope. It looks like it's an ongoing series. So it, the book starts off as the gremlins are tearing up the town of Kingston Falls. That's right. So hopefully I can find the other ones in the series. So it's pretty much retells the whole movie. And uh, yes, this is a Christmas movie. I believe Gremlins is a Christmas movie. What are your guys' thoughts and opinions on that? Is Gremlins a Christmas movie? 
I think it is. I mean, there's a scene where the gremlins are even doing Christmas caroling. Come on. Crazy. Yeah, so this I guess this is the last book of the series. You see here is the ending. But yeah, that's the first pickup was this Gremlins awesome children's book with awesome artwork. The next pickup, I got this little baggie full of Muscle Man. That's right. Awesome figures. Here you go, man. I had a ton of these when I was a kid. Uh, if you're around my age, you probably had a whole bunch of these growing up as well. You even have some uh, some purple ones. But yeah, these awesome. These things are awesome. Check out this dude right here. These muscle men are pretty dope. So I've got a whole bunch bunch of them in here. And I take out another one. There you go. So yeah, this is a cool little baggie of muscle men. Classic 80s. I mean, muscle men are so cool. And uh, what, what these are actually for, uh, I'm gonna, these are gonna be included in a future giveaway. That's right. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna hit 4,000 subscribers. These will be part of a giveaway. So, you know, it's always cool to have a uh, muscle man, man. They made so many of these things. Next pickups are these real Ghostbusters action figures. Here we got Janine. So let me take her out. Pretty cool. So there she is right there. These were really cheap. These were like five dollars a piece. So I got Janine and I got this Ray. I already have this guy. See here he has that awesome feature right there. You little scared. I already have this guy, but I didn't have the accessories like the weapon and the ghost. So I picked them up for that so now i got him complete and then i got now i got a loose one incomplete cool so rebels busters these guys are freaking awesome check out this translucent ghost that comes with it so very cool pickup right here ghostbusters awesome toy line love it all right these next figures i picked up and the last ones are all teenage mutant ninja turtle figures that's right one of my favorite toy lines could be my favorite maybe i don't know yet I don't think I'll ever be able to choose which one is my favorite. But the first guy here is uh, the tattoo guy. I forget his name. Tattoo. Awesome. He's so cool. He comes with his weapon. And they had a whole bunch of them. As you saw, Kokomo Toys has lots of lots of figures. Lots of the same figures. So I ended up picking up the probably what I believe is the best one. Cleanest one. And the one with the most tattoos on them. So this, the thing about this guy right here, the tattoos are stickers. So every kid that got these placed the stickers, you know, in different spots. So you'll find the, when you find these used, they have all kinds of stickers all over the place or not even have stickers on them because they do fall off. It's this one on this, this leg starting to peel off. But uh, I got one that had a whole bunch of stickers on his front and back. So I think he looks cool, cool display piece, and he's very, very clean and super tight. Pretty brand new. You can hear, hear the joints there moving. But awesome, man, with his weapon as well. Uh, the next guy I picked up is Michelangelo Skateboarding Mike. I didn't have him or I had the reissue that came out in Toys R Us uh, years ago. Uh, the thing about that one, he didn't have all the paint apps. Like the M on his shirt wasn't even painted. And like I said, these are all minty. He even came with a file card. So I got a skateboard and then some of the, his accessories, which are rollerblades, actually. So I don't know, maybe might be tempted to pick up another one so I could display them with rollerblades and one with skateboards. What do you guys think? skateboarding mic slash rollerblading mic cool figure i love this turtle man they made so many wacky variations i mean there is endless the amount of turtles you can get in different kinds of uh series they made on these guys doing all kinds of stuff the next one is another skateboarding mutant this one is mondo gecko right here this guy is so freaking crazy look at that 
awesome figure very colorful and of course he comes complete with this awesome skateboard check out that skull on there and then this awesome like engine in the back so cool finally he got mondo gecko i've been wanting to get this guy for a while so glad to add him to my turtle collection and the last figure i picked up from kokomo toys is samurai leo sewer samurai leo there we go awesome this guy is dope look at that look at that awesome armor very clean i love that copper on his chest and then what does he come with he comes with all his accessories with his sword he comes with like a flag his sheath for his sword right there and then the little flag that says sewer samurai so awesome glad to have leo in the collection samurai leo i want to say i have him loose already just without accessories so now i got a complete one so that is cool probably my kids play with the doubles he loves the ninja turtles i don't mind playing with these these are toys they are and to be played with and these turtles take a beating i've seen them play with some of these vintage turtles they do take a, a good beating and, and uh, nothing happens so but sewer leonard Okay, everyone, I want to thank all you guys, all my subscribers, all you friends that I've talked to throughout the years. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, 4K, I haven't hit it already. Uh, stay tuned, because if I, if I did, the contest will be coming out pretty soon. Maybe at the first or second week of January. And stay tuned for that, so there will be a contest and more details to come. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at SoCal Shalin so you know all the details for whenever I do that contest. And uh, please let me know what you guys thought of Kokomo Toys. I have been there before in the past. It's featured on the, uh, a Toy Store Near You TV show that is on Amazon Prime. So if you haven't seen it, check it out because they hit up uh, lots of different toy stores, cool toy stores around the country. Uh, so it's awesome, man. Awesome show. And uh, they can give you a more closer look at Kokomo Toys. They even talk to the owners. But always love going there. They have a huge variety of toys. I try to give you guys the best footage from Kokomo Toys. Everything is behind glass and you get a glare. And everything is in baggies since they have so much of it. So some some of the display cabinets are hard to see because it's just piles of toys and baggies. But thanks again. Leave comments down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. That's how you can support the channel. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell so you can know when my new videos are up. Also, join me Wednesdays at 6 p.m. I'll be doing live streams on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific time. That's California time. So 9 p.m. in the East Coast. And join me for that. We'll talk toys, uh, anything. We'll show pickups and stuff. Uh, it's a cool time to hang out and just talk toys, man. My friends here that I hang out here in, in the, my hometown here in San Diego, they're not into toys. So I can't talk to those guys about toys. So... You guys, our toy collectors, toy community, we're all in this together. I love talking toys with you guys. Please join me on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Uh, for the live stream. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys. So, like I say all the time, can't thank you guys enough uh, for supporting me and the channel, SoCal Shaolin. And until uh, the next toy hunt, uh, catch you guys next time. I am out.